Hey guys, how's it going? As you can probably tell, I'm not at home in Godston. You wouldn't get this there. I'm actually in one of my favourite, if not my favourite part of the world. It's called Exmoor. It's a national park in the southwest of the UK in Devon and that's where my great great auntie and uncle are from Barbara and David so I'm staying with them for a bit. What have I been up to? I've actually been spending time with my mates in Exeter uh, enjoying Freshers Week. It's the, uh, it's the week beginning um, the year of university. It's where all the newbies go and you know have a good time, club every single night, that sort of stuff. So I had a really good time with them. I spent about eight days with them in their nice new flat, their second years in their nice new flat, um, literally in the cent in the city centre, so it was a prime location. And you know, I got on really, really well with uh, Lovell and Tiernan's uh, flatmates, which I didn't think would happen. She got on so well with them that I think I'll probably be meeting them when, they're, when I'm back home and when they're back home, because you know, they're not exactly far away from me, which is ideal. So yeah, I'm down here, seeing my great, great auntie and uncle, driving around Devon, taking photos, because this is like a really, really nice spot to take photos. I'll show you the area. I mean, I'll cue a B-roll in a second, but, um, but yeah, this is what I've been up to in the past week, and I'm now in Simmons Bath in Exmoor. This place is beautiful, it brings back so many memories for me. My, my great great auntie and uncle lived in a, a farm called Ben Twitchin, which is sort of like not too far away from here, maybe about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. And we'd always come here with the dog and walk her for a while. Um, and kids, there's literally unlimited number of walks you can do with the dogs and every single walk is beautiful. It hasn't been ideal for drone shots, but I'm trying to get some good spots, so... I'll see you after this B-roll. That is the underside of a tree that has fallen over the river. Madness. So guys, another thing that I've been doing lots of recently, as you could probably guess, is surfing. Unfortunately, the closest place for, for us as a family, because we're, we're, you know, pretty passionate about it, the closest place is North Devon, which is about four and a half hours away from us. And there, you know, there is some surf, the south coast of the southwest of England, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit hit and miss, it's not uh, consistent, whereas whereas the north coast is pretty consistent, so it's, uh, it's a pretty good place to go surf. We come down here to see great great auntie Barbara and uncle David, but also to surf as well, so when I was down here as a kid, you know, we, we come for a week or so uh, during, the, during the school holidays and, and surf every single day, and it was, it was spectacular, that's where my love for surfing came from. Uh, so thanks dad and mum. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been doing lots of surfing. Uh, my mate James wanted to get a bit involved So for the first two days I took him down to Bude and for the third day we went to Puttsburgh But that was um, that was pretty dead. There wasn't any waves there unfortunately, but beautiful weather So yeah, I'm just doing lots of surfing really and I hope the, uh, the the surf picks up towards the end of this week So I can stay for a bit longer, but yeah, we're getting the tail end of Hurricane Florence right now I believe so the waves have been pretty at the end of last week, so yeah, it's all going well.